How effective are your risk controls? Well, let's look at James Reason, who proposed the image of the Swiss cheese model to explain the occurrence of system failures, such as those that arise during a medical mishap. And in complex systems, hazards are prevented from causing human losses by a series of barriers, which he's depicted here. Reason's model has become the common mode through which complex accidents are routinely examined and understood. And in the model, each barrier that is designed into the system, shown here as engineering controls, administrative controls or behavioural controls, have unintended weaknesses or holes and hence the similarity with the Swiss cheese. Now, these weaknesses are however inconsistent. So the holes may open or close or align at random, depending on a range of sequential events or indeed who is interacting with the system. Now, when by chance all of the holes align and that hazard can slip past the controls and potentially reach the patient and cause the harm, as you can see here depicted as the incident or what we might refer to as a risk event, the model focuses on the system, though, and not the individual. And it focuses on the randomness of these events aligning, as opposed to any deliberate action. And in the occurrence of errors, as you can see in this case, the hazard has bypassed all of the controls, including the mitigating controls that were designed to protect the patient. And the impact of the consequences will now be realized either by the patient directly in the event of any harm or by the business in the event of a potential recall. So are you monitoring and measuring the effectiveness of your risk controls? Because if not, you could fall foul of the Swiss cheese and find a gaping hole in your risk management strategy.